The inspiration for this song really came from a prayer. I thought about three things. I was moved by the idea of flipping strange fruit because I was really inspired by strange fruit, obviously, on this song and Billie Holiday. And then this idea of the, the power of blood and how it fertilizes us. And then the scent of victory and what that smells like for us, because I believe we're a victorious people and, and she was. United States versus Billie Holiday. It was directed by Lee Daniels, written by Susan Laurie Parks. And it's really about <clears throat> the early war on drugs and how no war on drugs has ever really been genuine. It started in the 40s and it was always entrenched in race. And Billie Holiday was truly the first martyr. They actually went after her because she was singing Strange Fruit. She was holding a mirror up to the nation and she was integrating audiences and talking about racial terror and lynching in America. She truly was the early godmother of the civil rights movement. It was her singing Strange Fruit in defiance of the government and the death of Emmett Till that reinvigorated Thurgood Marshall in the movement. So it's, it's we're vindicating her legacy here and Lee, Lee executes that so brilliantly. As far as the music goes, you know, it was natural for me to reach out to Raphael Sadiq because, you know, he just makes that fire. So he sent over a really beautiful track that he said had a wrong chord in it, but it was beautiful. And and that was perfect because it reminded me of Billie Holiday. And it took me like a month, maybe over a month to write the lyrics after that. But after I prayed about it, all of that stuff kind of came pouring out. Strange fruit come down off that tree. Cut it down under your feet. I didn't want people to see us hanging. I didn't want us to see us hanging on a tree anymore. You know, Strange Fruit was sort of like a, a call to awareness. And this song is more of a call to action. Like, you know, so that was really kind of get off the tree, cut it down under your feet. There's a sense of ownership there. You know what I'm saying? There's a sense of destroy with our truth and with our strength those things that have held us up in this sort of victimhood. Juicy fruit, so bittersweet. Fruits stand tall, these roots go deep. Juicy fruit, so bittersweet. Obviously, we are beautiful people. You know, people of color, marginalized people are beautiful people, but we've been through a lot, you know what I mean? But I think that a lot made us really strong and healthy, which is why I said juicy fruit, because it's not withered and it's not dying. We're Now we are a brolic, strengthened fruit, you know? And then... Fruits stand tall, these roots go deep. I mean, we got Billie Holiday's shoulders to lean on. We have so many ancestors that came before us. Strange fruit busting on these thieves. Strange fruit busting on these thieves <laughs> was the lyric that I was certain would not get this thing nominated for anything. <laughs> We're more familiar with seeing songs that are more clearly sort of uplifting, right? More, you know, and this song is more militant. This song is, I think, more challenging. Hats off to the HFPA and to Golden Globes for, for nominating it because, you know, she a little war ting, you know what I mean? So <laughs> it's definitely not what I think I'm used to hearing in those spaces. So it's, I'm, I'm, I'm happy and grateful. Ancestors don't take defeat, left the set of victory. In the air, tigress and tweed. Billie Holiday, I hear all the time, well, she wasted her life. She did not waste her life. She was victorious. She was triumphant. And I was thinking about the scent of victory. Like, what would that smell like? And I was like, oh, it would smell like our ancestors. And so um, later in her life, Billie Holiday's two favorite perfumes were Tweed and Tigress. And so that's where the name Tigress and Tweed came from. Oh, and Derek, you carry it. I'm tired, green buried, the truth of these you carry, futures you and your chariots. It's just letting the future generations know, like, this, this is on your shoulders now. I was just thinking about, like, battle, you know, regalia, different things that you would use in battle in different periods. And so I didn't really want to say tank. It was a little too, I, I wanted to tie it to how regal we are, you know what I mean, as a people, to our royalty, to our the kings and queens that we are and that came before us. And so chariots just felt like it fit. And that's who we are as a generation. We carry the mantle now and we carry the fight um, in, you know, in our chariots because we royal. Say a prayer for me. Cause I don't get no sleep. Say a prayer for me. Oh, say, say. 
you say? I wanted the chorus to, to, to be say a prayer for me because that's the crux. That's the crux of who I am. You know what I mean? And I didn't want to lose sight of why I was doing this. Not just, I didn't want it just to be anger. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. It's like, it's got to be anger, hope, and strength. You know what I mean? And I think that's what God sort of um, endows us with, you know, and that... So for me, I wanted to make sure that it stayed kind of in the spirit and of the spirit, you know, because I think a lot of people might look at a song like this and be like, how could you have prayed? And that's what came I'm like, that's what came out. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, so I got to be militant, too, you know, <laughs> and I don't get no sleep. Really, I really don't be sleeping. So <laughs> I got to work on it. And I imagine she didn't much either when she got the feds coming down on her. You feel me? But I've been rallying the troops. Cherry, it's a flaming line behind my mozzie coop. Artists, right, especially for us, we reflect the times and we echo, you know, what's going on or in our lives. And so I think it's like just the effort by, by Black women in general, by women of color in general, by women in general, the effort that we make to bring people together. Like Billy did that, right? Stacey Abrams, you know, we've seen her do that. Damu, at these roots, it's thick too. May big fruit, big vibes. Always pressing that line. It really all ties together, and that goes back to um, the central theme of blood, right? You know, blood is central to my faith. Blood is central to our strength. You know, I was thinking about the blood of our ancestors. And so Damu actually means um, blood in Swahili. And I was thinking about blood of our ancestors, blood being central to faith. And so it's not a tragedy, right? All those lives lost. I wanted it to be like all those lives hanging on the tree, the castrations, the, as Billy says, the bulging eyes, the twisted mouth, the burning flesh. That's not a tragedy. It is a tragedy, but that blood is what strengthens us now. So we can't let that go to waste. That has went and fertilized the roots. And that's why I say that's what's fertilized this new fruit. I'm from Southern California, right? So we understand the term Damu. We understand the term pressing that line. You know, it's gangster, but Billie Holiday was gangster. You know what I mean? That's what always pressing that line means. I'm always, I'm not, I'm more than affiliated. Like I'm pressing that line. I'm in, I'm committed. I'm in the fight. So full of love and light. The truth is black and white. The truth is black and white. And it's, I think written in black and white is our stories and our history has been manipulated. People like J. Edgar Hoover, people like Harry J. Anslinger, who thrived in the gray area. They thrived in deception and they thrived in the gray area. And so I really wanted to challenge that idea. Like, now the truth is black and white. Our contributions are very clear. Our struggle is very clear. And we need to know all of these things. To prepare for Billy Holiday, woo. I started smoking cigarettes. I started drinking alcohol. I don't sleep. And I just stopped taking care of my voice and lost a bunch of weight. And Met with a bunch of heroin addicts and former addicts, and and um, cut off all my hair. I mean, it was it was it was so much. <laughs> There's a lot of levels to 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 where we went, but everybody went there.